here's one of the hardest sweat work problem you'll see. And so don't feel bad if you're stuck and you've come here for help and that's what we're here for. So here, the first thing to understand is the goal. The goal is to have at least one car per week sold. We need, we want to know how many cars we need to show. Uh, this is actually the, the answer we're going to try to find. I'm going to call this N. N is going to be the number of Bernoulli trials because each time we show a car, that's one trial. So we show N cars, that's going to be N trials. And we want to have at least one, and the word at least should give you the hint. This is multiple scenarios. We have success and failures. Zero success and N failure is going to be the extreme case where she sell no cars after showing N cars. And also she could have one success and then N minus one failures and so on and so forth. Okay, I don't have to write down so on and so forth because if she sold at least one car, she would have had reached her goal. And of course, two cars are going to do it, three cars are going to do it, four cars. And, and we don't even know what N is, so we cannot add these all. The only thing we can do is to take one and subtract the probability that she sell no car. So here we come to the formula. The probability of reaching goal greater than 0.74 is going to look like this. It's going to look like 1 minus the probability of selling no cars. So selling no cars means zero success and n failures. So again, look look at the left hand side here. The probability of reaching goal, which is means the probability of selling at least one car, is same as one minus the probability of selling no cars. And we want that to be greater than 0.74. So hope you understand where this is coming from. Again, with the multiple scenario, I'm taking, I'm taking out the probability of selling no car from one, which is the probability of selling one car at least, and we're setting that to be greater than 0.74. Okay, so how do we go from there? Well, we're going to actually break this down into the Bernoulli formula, and here I will assume you are familiar with the basic Bernoulli formula. We're looking at zero success out of n trials. So we're going to have n choose zero. And then we're going to have the probability of each trial, the success, and that's where it's coming from. Success on selling each car on every showing. That's 0 0.05. And that's also going to be to zero. So the number of success. The number of failure is going to be n. So this is the probability of choosing, uh, this is the probability of having zero, selling zero cars after showing n of them. You need that to be greater than 0.74. Okay, so what the heck is n choose zero? Well, n choose zero is actually one. Anything choose zero is one. Uh, anything to the power of zero is also one. So we, we really only have 0.95 to the n left in this whole chunk. Now I'm going to subtract the 0 0.4, 0 0.74 over and add this over. So we have 1 minus 0.74 greater than or equal to 0 0.95 to the n. So here I just move this over and I move this over. So how do you actually go from here? Hopefully you remember something like natural log or log that you learned from maybe algebra or pre-calc. Here we actually have to natural log both sides. Or log, doesn't matter, either one will do. This is 0.26, so we have natural log of 0.26. And as you would as you might remember if you have had natural log, you can bring this n down, so we can make this n natural log of 0.95.
if you don't know how natural log work, uh, that well you then you won't really understand this part. Um, I will make a I will make a natural log video to kind of tell you, but you you really not you really never gonna need to know it. So, uh, if you don't know how this natural log work, I just say don't worry about it. Just know that here's how you here's how you set it up. Just change these numbers to the number you in your problem. So here we have we we now we just simply need to divide over. So we have n less than or equal to natural log of 0.26 over natural log 0.95. Another thing you need to know, you actually have to change the direction of the sign to be greater than or equal to. Why? Well, remember when you divide over a negative number or multiply over a negative number in an in inequality, you have to flip the sign. A natural log of 0.95 is actually a negative number. So when I divide up this over, I have to switch the sign. So now n is going to be greater than this number. Which means n is going to be greater than, let me type that in the calculator, natural log of 0.26 divided by the natural log of 0.95. And that turns out to be 26.26. .26. And here, just to make it make sense, you cannot have a quarter of a showing. So n have to really be 27. And 27 is going to be answered here. Again, if you don't understand this natural log thing, go visit the natural log uh, tutorial that I will make very soon.